Dearly beloved of the Lord Most High, praise the Lord and welcome. Welcome indeed to this time and I appreciate you for offering time to move together in this journey as we think through, as we read together, as we meditate together. And I hope you take time to think through the things that we read together from the word of God. Do you find some time, sit alone, and the word that I want to use is meditate on the word of God, what it says, taking a little bit more time to think through it. And so that God can open more, you know, can give you more revelations about what he's saying, more deeper truths, because some of these things remain as a mystery when we don't think time, we take time to think about them, when we don't take time to meditate upon them, they remain mysteries. And so I invite you to think through these scriptures so that you gain more from what the word of God says. But I appreciate the time that actually we give to think together and we shall continue with our journey in this word of God. Let us pray as we give thanks. Father God in heaven, thank you. Thank you, God, for the time that you give us for the opportunity to interact in your word so that we gain understanding, so that we gain knowledge to know you more because knowing you more, you are our rock, rock on which we stand and others, wherever, whatever, at other ground is sinking sand, you are our rock. We thank you, God, that we think about you. We pray and we trust that you will enable us to think through this word in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Friends, God is our rock on which we stand. All other ground, like the one of the songs says, is sinking sand. And so we think about his word. Now we continue. In the book of Daniel is where we are still and a lot that we keep learning. Daniel, one of the great prophets, one of the major prophets, and he brings us a number of issues, a number of people. And when you think about them, you read about them, they leave a mark on you. Now, just want us to go to the last chapter in the book of Daniel, Prophet Daniel. And the last chapter in Daniel is chapter 12. And we're going to pick a name from there, which we're going to think about, talk about, meditate upon. Now, but before I pick that name, let me read the first three verses. Daniel chapter 12, 1, 2, 3. And the Bible says, At that time shall arise Michael, the great prince who has charge of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never has been since there was a nation till that time. But at that time, your people shall be delivered. Everyone whose name shall be found written in the book. There's a message there. Someone whose name is written, everyone whose name is written in the book. Verse 2. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Verse 3. And those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sky above. And those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Now, verses 1, 2, 3. And then you can read on the remaining verses. Friends, this chapter 12 is the closing chapter in the book of Daniel. And I just desired to pick this name that is mentioned here. Of course, verse 2 has a message that you can think about. Please, can you think about the message in verse 2? Verse 3. One of the verses that I keep mentioning overhead and I keep thinking about it all the time that those who are wise shall shine like the brightness 
in the sky above. And those who turn others to righteousness shall also shine. And who does not want to shine? As I leave you these verses, please take time and think through them. But let us think about this name called Michael. Michael, known to many, because we talk, keep talking about him as an angel, the name Michael, an angel, and is referred to as the prince of angels. And he is called Archangel Michael. And that is Englishized. That is English Michael. But uh, in Hebrew is Michael. Michael. And the meaning of the name Michael is who is like God. El is God. Who is like God. And in some other interpretations, is referred to as the gift from God. And I just want to mention this name, Michael. And I, keep, I will keep using Michael, actually, in the mention of the few things I'm going to talk about him in time to come as an archangel and what he did and what he does and possibly a few things, actually, about the angels, what they do in our life. And I just want to take interest to think about it. Michael is a, a masculine rendering, masculine name, and masculine rendering is Michael. But of course, I've heard Feminine names, feminine means female. You have heard about Michelle. You have heard about Mila. You have heard about Mich okay. Michaela, something. My, the people add A ahead to mention, to make it um, feminine. And so these, these names, Michelle, Mila, and the other one that have Michaela or something, they are female renderings. But it's a great name because actually this angel does great things in our life. And of course, we have nicknames that derive from me, me, Michael. You have name, name, you have had names like Mike, names like Mike, Mikael or something, but they are all talking about Michael. So Michael comes, is mentioned here as one of the archangels, the prince of angels, one of the most high-ranking angels mentioned in the Bible. He's archangel. Just like someone who is High ranking, like in our church hierarchy, you'll hear about bishop, but someone who is a little bit higher than that is archbishop. And so it is arch, arch is a little bit higher. And so there are mentioned in the Bible and Michael is one of the angels. But of course, let me mention three of these, of the, who, who are in the same category. One of them, one other that is mentioned alongside is called Lucifer. Lucifer was one of the great angels in heaven and um, but rebelled against God. He became a fallen angel. And when you read Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12, you'll find something mentioned about him there. But let me read Dan, I mean Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 16, how Lucifer, I mean Lucifer was one of the angels there. But he's not of our interest, but I just want to read about him. The, our interest is Mihail, of course. And chapter 28, verse 16 of Ezekiel talks about him and says, In the abundance of your trade, you were filled with violence in your midst, and you sinned. They're talking about Lucifer here. So I cast you as a profane thing from the mountain of God, and I destroyed you, O guardian cherub, guardian cherub from the midst of the stones of fire. And so, guardian cherub, and you'll hear about guardian angels. So he was one of the great ones, but because of his sin, he rebelled against God, Lucifer was thrown down. And Jesus mentions the fall in Luke chapter 10, verse 18. Lucifer is now known as Satan. Satan, the dragon, the devil, in Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. And so you'll hear about Lucifer, and if we had all the time, we'll talk about we see how it became to be so. But this, our interest now is Michael, and when we have time, we shall talk about this. Now, another archangel, another angel that we talk about in the category of Michael is Gabriel. Angel Gabriel, the ambassador, the ambassador of good news. And Gabriel, the message of good news, is mentioned several in the Bible, and in the book of Daniel, we read about him. Um, in Daniel chapter 8, verses six, 15 and 16, he actually he stood with Daniel when he was going to interpret 
some of the dreams of the king, Gabriel, Gabriel the bringer of the important announcement. We talk about, we read about him when he went to Mary, the mother of Jesus, you remember? When he went to Zechariah earlier, Zechariah, the father of John the Baptist in the temple, in the, in the synagogue, you remember? That one is Gabriel, um, chapter 1, verse 15, and following and others. Now, he is the bringer of the good news and comfort of Daniel to Daniel in chapter 9, uh, chapter 9, verse 21 to 23, the book of Daniel, you read about him. And um, so Daniel is regarded as a wise man because of this, what the ministry of these angels, uh, particularly Gabriel. You, he, he may, he's mentioned several, and you hear the name there. But of course, maybe, let me also mention some renderings. Gabriel is masculine, is a name that we hear, and uh, it means in their language, Gabriel is El is God. So God is my strength. God is my strong man. Hero of God. And who doesn't need the strength of God? I desire you the strength of God. That God will strengthen you. you know, or that you become a strong man of God. You be strong, become the strong man of God. You know, in the Bible we talk about Samson, a strong man. Of course, when he used his strength well, he did great things in the Bible. Now, Gabriel, the strong man of God. And of course, after the female renderings, you will hear about Gabriela, you will hear about Gabi. I mean, those, those, those ones are the female renderings. There. But what is of interest for us is Michael, the high-ranking angel. Michael is called an angel, an angel in Jude, verse 9. Because Jude is one chapter. Jude, verse 9. He's the chief of angels. Michael, Michael, is the angel. And in Daniel chapter 10, verse 13, he is sent to help Daniel. And he is an angel. 10, 13 is what we look at in this book here. And um, it says that the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days. But Michael... Michael or Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. For I was there, left there with the king of Persia, came to help. And one of the things that we talk about, the ministry of angels, is help. And Daniel gives a testimony that Michael came and helped him when he was there in Persia. Friends, this is very, very important. A chief prince, commander, leader, Helper of God's people. The, many people when they are praying, they talk about him as the guardian angel. This is important. Now, Michael, Michael is also known to have been a warrior, the fighter, fighting the dragon. Revelation chapter 12, verse 7. And Revelation chapter 20, verse 2. You'll discover that actually he was a fighter, a fighter angel, a warrior. He was the, he's the defender of God's people. And you see in Daniel, defender of God's people. Revelation mentions some of these things like I've already to, told you. And so I pray that actually, as we talk about the ministry of angels, maybe there will be time when we shall talk fully about what the angels do, but this, during this brief time, I mentioned Michael and a few things that I'm going to mention that will be helpful to us. Defender of God's people. And so we pray that Michael, the defender of God's people, we invoke because I carry angels are servants of the Lord. Angels are servants of the Lord that bring good tidings, good news, and angels bring defense and protection upon our lives. So he's called a guardian angel. He's called a great captain, defender of God's people. And so Michael is an angel. One of the personality names that we find in the book of Daniel. And of course, actually it flows into other scriptures, like I mentioned in Revelation. And of course, you'll find another angel, other angel names. And I am actually compelled that I will find time and talk about them, like Raphael, that is found in one of the extra books that we find in the other, the, the Bible, the Apocrypha Bible. The book of Tobit, 
Tobit chapter uh, there 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 um, uh, I will not mention the chapter because you not find it easily but in the book of Tobit for the Catholics and um, and Orthodox they talk about Raphael and Raphael is of course one of the names that you find there and Raphael is about healing the healer angel Raphael and you'll hear about um, God our healer that actually this one is the one who brings uh, healing to our lives so it could be uh, one of the angels and so Michael does great things and it's a name that actually keep mentioning in our lives so this angel and that and other angels do service to god's people do ministry to god's people and they're called ministering spirits so archangel michael leads the others and the angel is mentioned in chapter 27 of acts of the apostles paul in his voyage voyage was the journey that was going on and he was ministered to so by the angel and so angel michael leads others to do to be ministering spirits to be ministers even to paul at sea in acts chapter 27 verse 23 and he does he does mention it very very vividly and we pray that actually on our journeys on our mission voyages the journeys that we make, whether you are flying in the air or whether you are on the water or whether you are on the road, you need the ministry of the guardian angels to take care of you. So Paul gives testimony in chapter 27, verse 23 of Acts, that for this very night there stood before me an angel of God, the God to whom I belong and whom I worship. And he said, do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand before Caesar and behold, God has granted you all those who sail with you. So take heart, men, for I have faith in God. So Paul tells the people to take heart because the angel had, had, had assured him. So we pray that on our journeys. Like to Paul, the guardian angel brought him a message. They were in the middle of the sea. And when you read chapter 27, chapter 28, of acts you discover that the journey was very very complicated the journey was very very hard the journey was full of troubles the journey was full of you know waves torrents but no soul no life was lost because the assurance came from the angel all of them actually the ship broke and everything went ran aground but they all sailed to the other side so we may find challenges in our life but these ministering spirits that come from God to stand with us, to stand with you in your journey. And so Paul gives us this testimony. And in the Old Testament Bible, we read about prophet Elijah. Do you remember in 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 3 to 8, who brought food to Elijah? And I say, I, we must have mentioned something because Elijah is one of the personalities that are talked about. But one of the angels, one, the angel brought Elijah food. So angels do ministry. They are ministering spirits. And Elijah gives us testimony in 1 Kings chapter 19. And also in Acts chapter 12, Peter gives us testimony and talks about how he was rescued in Acts 12 verse 6. And um how he was saved, how Peter was saved. You read and see in Acts chapter 12, verse 6. So the ministry is very, very important. When you talk about Archangel Michael in the same category with other angels who are rendering God's service to his people, I am compelled to say that may these same great angels meet the spirits of God the angel that helped Paul on, at sea when there was no hope at all because they remained at sea for several days, no hope of survival, throwing down into the waters all their, their belongings and the ship breaking. But the assurance that came from the angel was actually nobody would die. And so we live at a time when we find these torrents in our lives, these waves in our lives, but we need God's guidance 
and through him sending his guardian angels to come and take care of us, to guide us through. And so this is very, very important that I wanted to mention about Michael and him being the arch angel. He has a ministry among his colleague angels that he leads. And then another thing that actually we find is that they deliver good news. They deliver good tidings, message. Now, I, we may not open the Bible and finish it. Good news delivered. Who doesn't need good news? I need good news. Even today, I need some good news. Even now, I need some good news. You also need good news. We all need good news. Can you remember Abraham? When he was actually puzzled with his childlessness, Abraham, just there. And in chapter 18, people come. Genesis chapter 18, people come and they deliver good news. They were actually on their mission to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And we discover that actually angels do a great thing, many, many things. But the deliverer of good news here in Genesis chapter 18, in the Daniel chapter 8, we have already talked about how Daniel uh, faced it with them. And so the deliverers of good news. How about Mary, the mother of Jesus, when the angel comes and says, you are going to be the mother of the Savior, deliver the good news. How about Zechariah earlier? In chapter 1, we have talked about him already. When he was offering it and in all age, deliver the good news. Friends, we desire good news from the Lord. We desire good message that comes, that brings hope during our hopeless times. Hope. We need hope, and hope will be brought by the good news. And so, friends, the angels are the ministering spirits that bring good news to us. And so we pray that actually God will enable us to think again, take time, take time, and meditate and invoke these great beings that God sends to deliver. Because like their ministry was, we read about them in the scriptures, how about now? We require the same ministry that comes from the Lord God through them. So angels also, we have, we can also um, find uh, Michael a fighter, Michael a warrior, Michael a guardian angel. Now, they wage war, spiritual wars, helping to fight our battles, helped fighting Daniel's battles through the enemy forces. And Daniel chapter 10, verse 10 to 14 testifies to this. Do you remember, do you know that actually we are in that war, fighting, and Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10, following, following, remember Paul mentioning what, how we should stand firm because the war is raging. You need it to be strengthened that the garden beings, the angels of God, fight for our, on our side. And the Bible does mention it very, very vividly. And this and others, I just want to mention that actually God does something for you and does something for me, all leading you to worship God our Father who is in heaven. Like the angels themselves do worship God. Do you remember how Isaiah was called in Isaiah chapter 6 that there were these cherubims worshiping God, that they have wings and worshiping God before our Father. And so may they lead us. May we be led into the worship of God during our time. And the angels do that. In Revelation chapter 8, verse 8, I mean, Revelation chapter 5, verse 8, Revelation chapter 5, verse 8, following, following, we read about that ministry. And these angels that render service to the Creator, may they render service to us. These angels that execute judgment, may they execute, may they carry out orders that are in our favor. But remember, they can also destroy because actually remember what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. And we are going a wrong way in our life. And so the angels that we talk about that bring us good news, we do wrong things. And you remember, not actually during our generation, these issues that have arisen of lesbianism, of homosexuality, sodomy, now. The beings that took destruction to Sodom and Gomorrah are angels. And so until 
we come back to our senses and get back to scripture and know that actually the angels can also bring destruction because our generation has gone wrong. And some people, many, many people don't want to hear this good news that come from God that actually um, God hates certain things and those that he hates, he destroys, including Sodom, uh, the thing that actually people are doing the other way. And so we pray that angels, those of us, those of you who are still in line with scripture, may you continue being strong in scripture. May you continue being farmer and farmer and farm in, 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 in your belief. So actually these angels, instead of bringing destruction, they bring good news, they bring good tidings to you. And so I don't want to go further and further, but may God who sent Angel Michael to stand with Daniel, who sent Gabriel to stand with Daniel? May he send his ministering beings, ministering angels to minister to you so that you remain strongly rooted and that your battles will be won. And when angels stand with you, when Michael and, I, and Archangel, the, the guardian angel, the fighter, stand with you, you are bound to be a winner. And may you be a winner in the name of God. May you be a winner in the name of God, the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May God bless you and watch over you today and always. And as he watches over you, he watches over me. And may the guardian angels do their ministry in our lives. And think about this. Take time to think and see how you'll be in the same arena with these ministering spirits in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. <music>